It's been a rough road for virtual charter schools in Wisconsin. The state teachers union and the previous Democrat administration and legislature worked to limit virtual schools in the state. WEAC even tried to shut us down by taking us to court, and they won at first. At that point, we needed emergency legislation to keep our school's doors open. In order to secure that, we had to agree to an immoral and unjustifiable cap. It was an awful choice, but we told you to be patient. We told you that we would keep hammering away to make Wisconsin more welcoming to virtual schools. In this past legislative session, Governor Scott Walker eliminated the enrollment caps and restrictions on open enrollment. On Wednesday, the Wisconsin Coalition of Virtual School Families presented Walker its Rockstar of Education Reform Award. We understand the best way to help our kids and to help our families in our state is to give families as many different options as possible. And so certainly we were pleased to lift a cap, an arbitrary cap that was put in place in the past in this budget. I was so thrilled and, and honored to have such a great group of lawmakers in the Assembly and the Senate uh, who voted uh, with us in that, particularly, I know in the past, particularly in the, uh, the Finance Committee, uh, Alberta Darling and uh, uh, State Senator Alberta Darling, who I see here, and uh, Luther Olson was on the Finance Committee and chairs education, and then uh, in the State Assembly, Robin Voss, who's the co-chair of that committee, and all the members who are here, just really standing up and making sure that that remained intact throughout the budget process. Uh, for us, that's important because overall, we want to make sure that every kid in this state, no matter what zip code you come from, no matter what your background, no matter what your parents do or where you live or what your background is, that every kid in this state has access to great education. For the McIver Institute, I'm Bill Osmolsky.